What's up, Swirlgers? It's Nerp here, and I did get the number one weekly winner badge for this week, so that is my tenth time getting that badge. I don't get, like, a second Minecraft cape or a tier two Minecraft cape, but still, ten is a nice round number. Reach double digits in that category, so that's very cool. I was all the way up to eight, uh, 1983 rating. Um, I already got the 2000 rating achievement, like, over a year ago, so... I wasn't really looking to get to 2000, um, but 1983 is definitely the highest uh, rating that's been on top of the ranked ladder uh, for probably like like uh, over like six months, probably more than that. Okay, so today we're going to play Judgment, haven't done that in a while on the channel. Uh, looking at what we have so far. Nothing much, I mean, we're all the wolves, like, and Tempest River are decent creatures, so it's Fester and Greek. But these rows aren't that great. I think I'm gonna take the Tick Bomb. Just because I think it's the most useful scroll in Judgment out of these four scrolls. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Tick Bomb. Yeah, and also because I saw this Tempest River, that's also energy. I'll take the, I'll take the Tempest River over the Road of the Wolf. Also, I see energy stuff down here. Uh, stag heart sanctuary. I'll take the. None of these scrolls are that good. I'll take the uh, stag heart for the off chance I get more stag hearts. I mean, I could be in decay here with like a Meyer Shambler and Mach but it looks like we're more in energy. This row, I have energy. This row, spark is good. Spark is good here, but then I have a Ken, Automaton, and a Storm Runner. It's gonna be a tough choice. I'll probably take the Storm Runner. The Storm Runner is one of the best scrolls in the game. Huh, I, when did they add that? I didn't know they added it to say four tiles. I think it used to just say lobber. I mean, the four tiles was implied, but I guess they added that, so new, new players know what his lobber radius is. I don't know, does that mean that we're gonna get lobber scrolls that are not four tiles? I don't think we have any lobbers that aren't four tiles. All right, enough rambling. Here I'm going to take the Snarl Hunter just because I'd rather have the creature than the clock library. Although Snargo Hunter isn't that great. So nice order and growth creatures here, but seems like we're more in energy so far. Yeah, definitely. And there's a burn here. So I'll take the Storm Runner, like I said, over the big Ken and Automaton. Now, I think I definitely want to be like mono energy, but I might splash order. Um, I'll take the new orders. And now, Boom River I love, but burn is just one of the best scrolls in the game also. So I'll grab that. And now we have no energy scrolls here, so now we're going to have to make some decisions. This gives us a bunch of energy, but it's not permanent energy, so it's not really what we want. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the Uneasy Alliance. It could be a decent attack buff, but in the Storm Runner, we'll see. Now, Snorgle is okay. I guess I'll have to, I guess I'll take that solid, solid 4-drop. Uh, I don't love it, though, because it doesn't really attack when I play spells. Here, I don't know. Like I said, I kind of want utility scrolls from other factions and the main creatures and energy, so I will take the Unbind just because. And the re Reversal. Okay, so now we got some energy stuff. We have Snorgle, Desperation can be a big attack buff I need it, or some Pseudo Removal. Um, Gravelock Guard is a very solid 2-drop. Deals some damage to creatures. So now we have no more energy scrolls again. Just got some lag there, that was kind of weird. Uh, I'll take the Wicked Being, who knows, maybe, and the Loyal Darkling too, so like we have like some like direct double damage if we need it. Now, I mean, maybe I should have gone for Decay from the beginning. No, I don't think so. The energy stuff we've gotten is pretty good. I'll take the Junkyard. Now, Speed would be a nice splash, but Ash Runner is an energy creature. The problem is Ash Runner, he has piercing but one attack, so to make him worthwhile you're going to need to buff him with it, um, attack and gemmins. I don't have a Mastinated, but I do have a Desperation, which can get really big attacks, so yeah, I'm going to take the Ash Runner, I need the creatures. Hmm. I can take another Uneasy Alliance. There's another Snarmel, Proximity Charge, Infernal Blast. Alright, I'll take New Orders here. Uh... Eternal Sword. Alright, so now I have a decision to make here. We don't have that many energy scrolls. This isn't going that well. 
We really need to start getting some more energy tools. We want to go mono energy. I could take that other snorkel, which I probably should because I'm only at six. Yeah, I'll take the snorkel over the over these things. I don't I don't have that many creatures. Now, I guess I can go. I think we might have a splash into order, so I'll have like infiltrate. Pother can be important. All right, nice. We got a copper automaton. Feedback Joel or Machine Demander uh, here. I will just, I guess I'll take the Vicious Strike. Could, it's pretty bad scroll. You don't get that much attack out of it, but it could be useful in the Ash Runner. Solemn Giant, that's awesome. Um, Machine, Divin Machine Divinator or Feedback Joel? What structures do I have? I don't have any structures. I don't even have Clock Library, so I, I guess we're going to be taking the Feedback Joel. Um, a Copper Automaton is nice. Solemn Giant. Okay, so now I guess we'll take Regenerature. And this time I think I want the Bruxony Charge over the Ash Runner. Yeah. Bruxony Charge can come really, really in handy. Uh, another Infiltrate. Stone Enigma could come in handy. Another Spark is nice. Scout Automaton is a good score, but I don't really have other Automatons in this deck. I do have one copper automaton still it's a nice three health with armor creature um this gives me energy i would rather have the cantrip then i'll have spark scout all right nice all right here here we go now look energy is looking better i'll take the atrophy or the metal the atrophy okay so why couldn't these guys be in separate rows here another desperation is good tempest reaver and boom reaver Tempest Reaver I think is a better scroll than Boom Reaver, but I think I have a lot of 4 drops and not that many 3 drops right now. So I'm tempted to take the Boom Reaver, but Tempest Reaver is just so much better I think. Yeah, I'll take the Tempest Reaver. I'll take the better scroll. And then here I'll definitely take the Ironclad Reaver, he is awesome. Um, Desperation. Now, I don't know. Blood Boil, whatever. There's a Clock Library, and then I have Scatter Gunner there. And one more pick, and that's... Alright, we're not going to have a Mono Energy deck. We're going to have to have some kind of Splash. Looks like it's going to be Order. A third Desperation, wow. I kind of wish I took that second Ash Runner. Um, whatever, I'll take that, and Desperation. Okay, so, this is an okay Judging deck. Not the best, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. We have a decent curve, saw a bunch of 3 drops, a bunch of 4 drops, a 5 drop, it's pretty aggressive. Um, so now I have to see what I want to splash here. I don't have enough growth scrolls. I can go with Ener Decay, which isn't a bad option. Uneasy Alliances, great for the Ash Runners. Um, oh, Uneasy Alliance, also great on the Storm Runner. He's still be attacking more tiles with his attack buff. Uh, low Dark and Wicked Being, I could leave some metals on 2 health. Regenerator, same thing to a lesser extent, Atrophy can come in handy. And then Order, we have more Cantrip things. Horn of Ages, New Orders really can help me get around. Pother, Kabonk. And that would already be 5. I kind of like this. But then... This, I would take the two uneasy lines, this, this, maybe that. Hmm. You know, I'm going to go with the order stuff. We only have one Ash Runner. We don't really need the attack buffs that much. Oh, and we have the Desperations. So I'll get rid of these. I mean, I'll take these. And there we go. So that is our 30 scroll deck. We'll call this energy order and let's head into a match hopefully we get it right away so i'll be back when a match is found all right found a match so let's jump into that and it's against crick hello and good luck mr crick and is the game lagging out here oh it's, it's not my message though so usually when it's lagging out uh on the server side, like the messages don't send. All right, there we go. 
Um, uh, I think I'm going to keep this hand solely because it has a 2-drop. And I think I only have one 2-drop in the deck. The Grey Black Guard. I know I don't have a 3-drop in hand, but hopefully I'll top deck that in the next couple of turns. And it looks like he is energy also. He's rocking the beta head. So I'll combat his Grave Lock Raider with a Grave Lock Guard. Uh, I'm not expecting him to play any stone, uh, lingering spell, so I might just get rid of this. Uh, yeah. Actually, I like the versatility. I'm going to get rid of the Snargle. Snargle I don't love. I'd rather the Stone Enigma just in case, but I also have other two other four drops I can play. Solemn Giant, maybe not, because I have to like waste all my turns making him attack, but I might need him to take down big walls. Alright, he plays his Cobra Autumn Sun, so I think I'm just going to give up that guy, so so much for having a two drop there. I'll get rid of the Stone Enigma. And unfortunately, I did not... I did not uh, draw a three drop to play this turn. Okay, so let's see if he plays a three drop. Play a charge coil. I have a tick bomb in the deck, but I think I'm just gonna use my burn on that thing. I mean, this Gravelock Raider is really not a threat at all. There's a three drop, but yeah, this Gravelock Raider is really not a threat at all um, when he doesn't have an attack buff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, I'm, actually I'll just play the Tempest Reaver because the Tempest Reaver has armor. So he'll take zero damage from the charge coil. And next turn, I can burn that charge coil. He goes to four, or burn something more worthwhile. So he moves up to engage me, and another charge coil. So now I wish I had like incendiaries in my deck. Uh, there's a tick bomb. I'm going to burn the one down here. I don't think I'm going to be getting to that one anytime soon. And I will sacrifice for scrolls here. Okay, then I'll move down. So next turn, I could actually spark and have this guy have a three attack, which would be ideal if I can just get rid of the, get rid of the charge coil and this raider. But we'll see what he plays this turn. If he has like a machinated for this grave luck raider, then my temp super is dead. And if I can't destroy this charger, I always have, I have a tick bomb for it. So I think I've had pretty decent draws so far. And he decides to just hit the idol because I thought that's a third charge coil. I definitely wish I, I drafted a, an incendiaries. Um, but lucky for me, I'm still going to be able to take things out. And this this temperature takes in these hits like a boss. I'll get rid of the ash runner. And I'll go for the spark and smash. Yeah. Armor 1, perfect for absorbing ether pump hits and charge coil hits. Yeah, if you're new to Judgment, you might see a lot of energy decks where people just draft so many charge coils. It's a common scroll that it feels like it's more than common. It, when you're drafting a deck, I feel like it feels like they always come up. Sometimes I had decks where there's like 5, 6 charge coils, but then one incendiary just makes them go all the way. Alright, yeah, incendiaries would be really good, all the structures would go away. Um... Now, I could play two three drops here. I mean, Scout Automaton also has armor, so who wouldn't take any damage from the charge coil, but I kind of just want to get rid of this. Nah, I'm, I'm going to save this. He might play like a Forge or something, and then I'll need that. I will get rid of the Snorgle Hunter for scrolls. I know I could play two creatures this turn, but it's not, it's not really a dire situation for that. And I'd rather not take any damage, so I'll just play the armor creature. I'll play the scout. Oh, also, the Solemn Giant will have extra attack from the scout automaton. Okay, and then next turn, we might go with the Tick Bomb on the Charge Coil and play a Storm Runner. And go to six. Oh. Yes, the
Okay, so you played a catapult and goo. I don't care about that. I'm going to just go. I mean, I could use the tick bomb on it. So many structures in his deck. But I'm going to finally get rid of that charge coil because I'm going to play Storm Runner, which I don't want to take any damage from that charge coil. So I'm going to get rid of the Desperation. Play the tick bomb. And play a Storm Runner. Now. I'm going to play it back here. I have a feeling the Storm Runner is going to be the one like taking down both of these proximity charges in one shot. Actually, it may have been a mistake. Kevin Mike Scott almost on this middle row now. Okay, well, he's going to burn the Storm Runner right away. So I guess him taking any damage to the charge goal wouldn't really have mattered. That sucks. And there's a Grave Lock Guard, so he's going to be able to ping me because I don't think I'm going to be destroying this row. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to go to the proximity charge. Spark. Doesn't do a lot right now. Uh, yeah, I wish this guy was in the back row so he can move down and destroy this proximity charge. So, slight misplay by me. I don't think it's a huge deal, though. I will... Go ahead and display Psalm Giant. I have, I have like, spells in my hand, so I don't expect the Snargle to be making it, uh, many attacks in the near future. So I'd rather just get that Solemn Giant down, maybe even if he's just going to sit down there, I might just take out Middle Idol. Hopefully just play some random enchantments on his unit so I can play the Feedback Jolt. Okay, and I only need to have one energy left over for this guy to have one attack to be able to destroy the Box 70 charge. Ember Bonds. Okay, so that means you're just gonna get, you're only gonna get, uh, one attack off. Alright. Um. I think I'm going to. Seeing all those charge rolls with deck, another Tempest River might be the play. I'll get rid of the Snargle for scrolls. So I'll just go like this. And I'll move this Solemn Giant in too. Because I might be attacking with him. Yes, I could have pumped this uh, with the two energy head left over, but then this uh, type of server would have zero attack. And I wouldn't be able to take out that proximity charge. And there's a another one of these. Catapult of goo. And a charge coil. So many structures this guy has. Uh if I Okay, I don't really have much to do here. I guess I can destroy that with this guy. I could pump. But that doesn't really do a lot. But I'd rather pump this turn. Uh, let's get rid of Horn of, let's get rid of New Orders for scrolls. I could actually use the New Orders to move the Psalm Giant to kill the Charge Coil, but that's not worth it. Ironclad Reaver. Okay, that's what we're going to play. So I move down like this. I'll make sure nothing is in the range of this catapult. I think I'm just going to play the Ironclad Reaver right here. And now next turn, uh, both of these guys will be attacking, so that's good. Yeah, this is when units are attacked by Catapult of Goo, not just damaged. So even though this Tempest Rivers would take zero damage from the Catapult of Goo because they have armor one, uh, their, their countdown would still be increased by one. We're both at 6 energy now, I have slightly more scrolls than him. He plays a cannon, but he played it in front. Aw oh man, hit him. It doesn't, actually, this doesn't really matter because he's going to die anyways um, after getting only one attack. But, 
what that does is I'm, I'm gonna be able to just kill this cannon here. Um, yeah. I want to have at least five energy, so because this guy's armor one. A lot of energy stuff has armor one. This is armor one, so I'm gonna need five energy left over so I can play something that costs two this turn. But there's not much in my hand that I would want to play. So I guess what I'll do is just sacrifice four energy and just pump once. Um, and this is going to be attacking, so I'll get my guys uh, I'll protect the guy that has one one health now and I'll just move you up, I guess move you like this okay that's two more things destroyed so we're just letting our creatures destroy what he has this is going pretty well for us I think if I had a different deck, I'd have been in a much worse position. Luckily, I had the early tick bomb and burn, and I have these armor creatures to absorb charge oil hits. So now, I think I'm going to finally get an attack off of this guy. He slowly counts it down. He's in no rush because he has ember bombs. He's gonna get one attack. If this guy actually gets hit by the charge coil this turn, he's gonna get no attacks off. So, just don't hit him. Come on, charge coil. Don't hit the solemn giant. Okay, play some more creatures. Wish I had a thunder surge. Okay, come on. Don't hit. Don't hit solemn giant. Yes. Okay, so you're gonna be able to get an attack off. And I'm gonna try to probably do that this turn. Uh, so I can kill you. I can deal one damage to you, but you would die to a spark. Let's go for scrolls. Okay, let's start with the pump. So I'll just take down the hard smuggler, I guess. You're going to attack. I'll move back. I will play clock library up here. And also a copper auto back here. I'm gonna want to start doing some damage here. And pop. And next turn I will be able to destroy this Greyblock guard with a spark and both of both my Tempest Reavers and my Copper Automaton are going to have attacks. So now the Solemn Giant is basically done. Um, next time I pump him and attack, he's just gonna blow up before attacking. He'll malfunction. The transformer will malfunction. So I'll just store him up at the top of the board. He won't do anything. He didn't even do any idle damage, which was unfortunate. But once I clear Crick's board, I should deal idle damage quite quickly because of the my Tempest Reapers in the deck can amass really high attack. Especially that I have a nice amount of energy now. Okay, a catapult of goo, if you didn't know, is one of the worst scrolls in the game. I mean, yes, four health for three costs isn't that bad, but it's just so much worse than a destroyer. <laughs> one attack, two countdown, so easy to play around. Alright, so he fill keeps playing a lot of creatures. Alright, nice, hits the armor creature again. Good. Now, hmm. How can I do this? I want to have these guys have four attack. So, if I spark, that's gonna be good, and then I can kill that, and then I can kill that. All right, a spark and a and an ash runner is gonna work. I'll get rid of the horn of ages. I guess that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna. We shall move about like this. I guess I'll just play the Ash Runner behind. Because that Song Giant is nothing to me now. Spark. And we destroy stuff. 
finally that charge coil is taken out and that front catapult of goo. In just a few more turns, we'll be getting a bunch of scrolls from this clock library. Wow, 10 spectators on a judgment match. Um, I don't usually get that many spectators on judgment matches. People like to watch the ranked matches. I mean, I think judgment matches are probably more interesting because you get to see scrolls that are not necessarily meta and stuff. But they're often more boring because it's not like top level action. And the decks aren't optimized, so they don't win very quickly, so it might drag on. Uh, I can Vicious Strike or Desperation take it. I only have two things attacking. So I'm not gonna... So I'm not gonna kill everything. I'm just gonna leave the this Catapult of Goo alive. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the Catapult of Goo alive. Because I'd rather kill the stuff that's attacking. Um, I could actually kill the Cannon if I move up and play like Desperation on it. But... Why do that when you don't need to? I'll just sacrifice for scrolls. Okay, so I'll play the desperation there and kill it. I could have played on my own, but why take damage when you don't have to? Um, where's this guy attacking? Right there. So let's not get anything in that area. So I'll just kill that, and I could play Park Sunny Charge. My board's getting pretty. My board is getting pretty cramped here. So I'd rather. Just play the one unit, the Star Gaunter, instead of the Proximity Charge, which ends up being two units. And now, hopefully, I'm going to be able to kill this Cannon Automaton because this turn, because this Ash Runner with his piercing attack is about to get a really high attack. Um, if he lines up his. Alright, well, yes, it didn't. Alright, that was good. It didn't hit the Ash Runner. Um, so now. I mean, well, I guess, I guess I, I was planning on doing a cool vicious strike or desperation to make the Ash Run get really high attack, but I'll be able to destroy these anyways. So I will just do that, and I need five attack here. So maybe I just won't play anything this turn. I don't think I want proximity charges. I'll get rid of that. Is there anything with two I could play? No. So I'm just going to hit hit those. And the board is finally cleared in round 16. Another sudden eruption. And there goes the Ash Runner. But now I get all these scrolls from that clock library. And you know what? It is time I start sacrificing for more energy. Um, it doesn't really matter what I do here. My These guys are going to start dealing massive damage. I will play... I guess I'm gonna get you out of the way. I guess I will play Stormrunner and Snargle. I'll skip out and scatter gunner for now. And now this Ironclad Reaver has this pillage effect activated. And next turn I won't be able to win the game because my these guys only don't do that many attacks. Okay, so I'm just going to kill those then. Um, I guess I'll just go for more energy because I have so many scrolls. And I'll try to stay out of... I'll try to stay out of, like, Thunder Surges. But I don't think he has anything like a Thunder Surge to play. He's just delaying his defeat now. Yes, I can use the Stone Enigma. <laughs> so let's just go for more energy. Play the Stone Enigma. Um, I will... Go ahead and destroy like that. And hooray. Okay, so that's one idle down. And we should win the game this coming turn. 
I might destroy four idols this match. These three. Proximity charge. And a charge coil. Okay, well, I'm just going to destroy two then. Let's just spark. And G. Oh no! Welp. Playing spells will stop the <laughs> Snargle from attacking, so I guess I had. So I guess I really had no uh, no way of destroying three idols anyways. So that'll be it for today. Sometimes I show the whole judgment run in my videos and speed it up, but I wanted to get just a nice commentary in today. So hopefully I do get the five wins with this deck, which I think I will. So that'll be it. Like the video if you enjoy, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time.